You haven't oh. even eaten with the tip of it, Jason. Oh, oh. I enough. Hey, welcome to Midweek here at Press Church. I got C.R. Pendleton, Jason Allison with me. Uh, I'm Sean Lee, lead pastor here. And uh, if you haven't joined us yet for a midweek, we do this every Wednesday at noon. And we just dive into uh, who we are as Press Church, questions that you have about uh, your faith, about culture, about really anything. Uh, if you do have questions, make sure to send those in, info at presschurch.tv. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and yes. So you can know everything that we're doing. Hit like and subscribe and also that the bell for that notifications. Bell for notifications. Yeah, that's, that's important a, too. Yes, yeah, so that thumbs up button, the subscribe, all that good stuff. Yes. Uh, so today we are diving into um, kind of why press. Yeah. Uh, there's churches all over the t- place. Like there's plenty of other churches. Right. Why would you go? And I even had that question multiple times from people. Yeah. Why would you call a church press church, Sean? Right. Where on right. earth did that come <laughs> from? You want to what tell us about thinking? that? Actually, we were on a phone. It, we were on a phone call. Do you remember that phone call? We were on a phone I call. I was, uh, I was walking around. We were on the phone and we were just going through, man, trying to, trying to figure out names for the church. I, I knew I wanted something that had action to it. Uh, I wanted something that was kind of short, nothing too right. long, right. easy to brand, um, would look good on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, mainly something that was action oriented. Yeah. And I was, I was on the phone with you and I said, what about press? And then I was, and I kind of second guessed myself and you're like, huh? And you start thinking through it and we're like, well, let's, let's think on that for a little bit. And we start diving in and we, you know, finding scripture that support, uh, this idea of press specifically paul talking about i press on right uh and i I just love the the image that comes with that an image of digging in and pushing forward and not just sitting back but going yeah i i feel like uh, when we had that conversation and it was such a unique period in time and i was bringing along some baggage i just come out of an organization that i was like not really thrilled about doing like do it being on staff at a <laughs> Another church. church yeah <laughs> and um right. and and there there was uh, there's a circle of people uh, that that know me that know I build structures and I do strategic uh advisement mostly and right. and that's the role I generally play with with groups you know mm-hmm. groups of people or organizations and so I just had this thing in the back of my head like everybody's gonna be thinking that like I have way more to do with this than what I actually do and it was Sean calling me up <laughs> and, and I didn't want to have anything to do with naming it either. Right. <laughs> I was like whatever dude this is your thing <laughs> and name it and yeah. I, I'm just kind of playing along going along for the ride right, or whatever right. and uh, you said press and I'm like wow that's 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 really good and it to me it felt very authentic because that's you mm, like yeah, you yeah. we we talk about a bias for action mm-hmm. and you're you're that kind of guy and i was just worn out at the time like i resonate with the bias for action but i i was tired. Like, that sounds tiresome <laughs> right yeah <laughs> i was more biased for a nap yeah, yeah that, that, sounds, right, right. that sounds good for you sure <laughs> go for it <laughs> so uh when you said that i was like yeah, all right yeah. that's something that can that can actually work here and it, it was very authentically you. Yeah. So, and then the scripture and and, and that. Right. So you you did you backed away from it. You were like, yeah, I don't know. Right. I mean, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, that's actually good, yeah. and I think it's very you. So yeah. Digging into that a little bit more. Okay. So that's where the press came from, and you you have the scripture, uh, and then, which is in Philippians three. If you want to find that, the, I press on towards the goal. Yeah. And so. Uh, and then it was more kind of, all right, Sean, this is a vision that you have, uh, or at least this call from God that you're feeling. And, uh, you know, what does this look like? Like, what do you care about? What is, Mm -hmm. what is this all about? And out of that, then our discussions birth the uh, vision and the mission of, of what this is all about. Right. And so before we started talking about this today, we were like, why? Why another church, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of churches in this area. There's a lot of churches everywhere. Yep. There's and even good churches. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. lots of churches. Is there a need churches. for another church, another yeah. branded organizational right. thing? 
And uh, I was pretty cynical at the time anyway. And I was kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of, I travel in that space. So. That defines you most any space. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and I do have a problem with, I, I mean, I'll be straight, straight up honest. If you want to see uh, kind of like the CR that sometimes joked about, like I have no toleration for, for poorly run, poorly managed organizations. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I tend to see that a lot with churches, okay. you know. And, uh, and, and so you see a lot of... Uh, fledgling, flailing, failing. Waste of time. Waste yeah, of and I'm like, why? It's just uh, absorbing mm-hmm. potential resources that could be mm-hmm. uh, reallocated for a, a much more stronger impact. Right. And um, that bothers me. Yeah. That's just my nature, right? Right. And so I don't like to see all of these. I, I, I see church plants start, and they're not well funded, and, they're, and the leadership is not trained well. Mm-hmm. And so they go out there, and within a year or so, they fail you know, right. it, because it's hard. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it, it's uh, <laughs> dare I use this word, uh, it's not sexy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's going to be tough, you yeah. know, and the rejection that you'll face and the uh, just the, the problems and, and dealing with people and the it, lack of budget and lack of wherewithal, it, it wears on you. So basically we're saying we're looking for more people to plant churches, so we're telling them how wonderful it is <laughs> and selling them on how amazing it would be to... <laughs> right. I might even debate that. I don't know that we're looking for more people to we're not, plant churches. I'm just, right. I'm just kidding. I think that's a problem. I actually do think that's a problem. Hmm. I think that it's a problem that this concept of we're going to do more by planting more churches mm-hmm. is is problematic. I'm not saying it's wholesale wrong. I'm saying mm. that it's got it's got some deep issues. Mm. And the idea is is like, well, we'll just churn out this thing and we'll we'll find people who want to go do this thing and we'll And then at the end of it there's bodies everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Of exactly. <laughs> of yeah. yeah, I mean th- I mean right now the statistics say you know what 80 to 90% of church plants don't make it past 5 years. Yeah. Mm. And so, you know, there's two ways to look at that. Number one, if you plant so many that as long as 10% of them make it, we still have a lot of churches. Right. Which is, you know, it's kind of the Walmart approach yeah. to planting churches. Right. Or you could say, let's pool our resources and do it right yeah. and bring that percentage down so yeah. that right. it, uh, 90% survive. Yeah. So this is where I have to dumb things down, and this is where uh, – I always have to reference. I don't know why I reference cartoons all the time, but uh, they're, they're, you did my, Simpsons my, last I week. No. And, and, and Matt Groening has another one. It was my favorite one, which is uh, Futurama. Mm. And in Futurama, there's this guy named Zap Brannigan, who's a terrible leader. And his way of conquering other territories is he just sends waves and waves of men <laughs> into battle until they're all. <laughs> he just defeats the other side by just. Killing volume. off all of his people. Yeah, yeah, volume. Sheer volume. And and that, unfortunately, is uh, the strategy of a lot of church mm. planting organizations yeah. or churches that well, it looks go good after on, that. It looks good thing. on paper. Hey, you yeah. know, we planted however many churches right. this year. Right. Or, yeah. And I think – yeah. So it, I do know – I mean, we don't want to go down this path too far, but the, the uh, association that we are affiliated with mm-hmm. is – big into church planting right you know and right. they have goals of trying to plant so many and whatever what right. i do one of the reasons we are affiliated is because they do a good job of trying to make sure that the people that are planting are equipped you know they're still working on the whole resourcing and with right. Right. money but right. they're at least making sure there's an assessment process there's right things, there's an intention because it's to hard to yes. plant a church and right. you come up with this idea that god is calling you to plant a church in pal why in the world would anyone Want oh to do yeah, that right. And I think that's kind of what we're talking about today. Is so yeah. why what what makes us a, as a church any different from the fifteen churches right. within Spitten? And I think if we're building? if we're honest, the ultimate goal I would say that most churches would fall in line with. Yeah, I think like every, the ultimate mission every church of, that actually reads the Bible, uh, right, right, yeah, you know, right. would have <laughs> the are, same uh, mission, <laughs> right? Go and make disciples, right? And yeah, yeah that's, but I do I do think that within different churches within different leaders, you're going to be able to communicate with a base that may resonate more with certain approaches to that. Yeah. And so that's kind of the yes. the press thing. There's a there's an essence to press church. There's a yes. You know, we talk about bias for action. Like we uh, I mean we can jump into our mission and vision. Our our you know our mission is to um, we'd say make a difference in this community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and right. we have we talk about that a lot. We do want the 
the fact that we are here in Powell in mm -hmm. Delaware County, we want this area to be different because of us. Right. Uh, now you can, you know, we were talking about that last week. You can make a difference in a bad way, just right. as much as you can make a difference. We can drop a big bomb in the middle of everything and <laughs> right. make a difference. But and I would say community is both local and global. Yeah. I mean, we're, right. there, there, is, there is a sense of when you talk about community, it's like, oh, it's, it's just right here. But it's yeah. like, it is right here. And, and it's then, also and beyond. well beyond here. And, and I think that's one of the key things with press that people should know about is we are all about Powell and Delaware County and Delaware, the city of Delaware. And we're also about going further than that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're about going further than that uh, in, in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And we're going about going further than that beyond. Right. So that's, yeah. uh, that's pretty significant. Yeah, but how we go about that right. is kind of that's that's the issue because a lot of churches have a strategy about going mm -hmm. uh, with that, and, and and maybe it looks like you know they want to highly invest in global missions. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe they do want to do church planting again. If if it's a church that does church planting, I hope they resource that properly, right. or they're joined with an organization that can actually support the right. church planner, right? right. But uh, so churches can have a different way. To respond uh, uh, as to accomplish a, the mission to accomplish the mission uh, as as a community um, in in different ways, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, we are about. I believe it, it is showing itself that we are joining in with other church bodies and helping that come together in in a better way mm -hmm. and growing it that way, right? And at least that's where God has has kind of led us up mm. to this point you know right. it's not by accident i mean we've had uh two mergers right. as a, right. a, as yeah. part of the the way that this church has right. gone begun really right. and gone forward right. and that's just in a less than two year period of right. time yeah barely right. more than a year <laughs> right oh, yeah it's, yeah, yeah a year and a half and we haven't it didn't even officially launch until october right right so to me that's <laughs> okay something's going on there yeah you do not see that happen yeah. right yeah. i mean <laughs> No. <laughs> it's pretty absurd. And I, you know, I was talking to you guys this morning. It's, it's humbling because we honestly know as much as the three of us bring certain levels of expertise to this, the level of which God has used this is way beyond anything that we could have done. And so it's, it's yeah. both inspiring and humbling. It's inspiring because it's like, okay, God, you really are doing something. You're really moving in spite of the difficulties that we have, yeah. the mm -hmm. hardships that we've had to face this last year, both right. personal and just as a church. Yes. Um, and yet we're still here. People are coming to hear about the gospel. Yeah. We're growing and that's, I don't know, that, that, that gets me excited mm -hmm. um, for what's next. So, and, so what yeah. do you think? I mean, I don't know how far we want to dive in today, but what, what does differentiate us from other churches or other, you know, other movements that are trying to accomplish this mission? Right. That gets sticky because yeah. when you when you delve into that, it's like you're uh, comparing. Yeah. Or, <laughs> and I don't mean a what makes us better. Yeah. I just mean, you know, what what. What makes us different? Right. I, you could maybe it even makes us worse. I don't know. It could, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right. I I think we really push us as pastors being authentically ourselves and and doing that in submission to God. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about it today. You know, working through how do we benefit this church as leaders the most, and you know your strategic and visionary kind of mind and me this passion and this heart to see people grow and mature and develop right and you know J jason kind of bringing this structural um what do we say how do how do we uh you had a Basically word for saying it. you have no idea what i do uh, right. no there's a word that cr said earlier that encompassed it so well it is but, structure but, and organization but uh, it, J jason is a nuts and bolts guy with a lot of that kind of stuff um and w what i would say is uh, even though some of our qualities do overlap, yeah. right? And, oh, I wouldn't they, say that. Yeah, yeah. They, I think we each have. They those. overlap <laughs> yeah. in, in a complementary way. Yes. Yeah. But uh, you know, it, like for instance, I know you're about development, right? right. You're about development, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a, a, a form of growth, right? right? But I also know that Jason is very much about spiritual growth, right? Right. But right. the way that you guys each go about it, right. it, right. it has a different flavor. Flavor. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. And, uh, and 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 that difference of flavor makes it so much better. Yeah, it's like the three of us all have a very different flavor. They 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 complement each other. Right. Uh, the the flavors can overlap a little bit, but uh, together as a whole, and I would say this is very different for us versus a lot of the other organizations I say. that I've yep. worked with or been involved with or anything like that. Is we really do work like a collective mm-hmm. single unit. Right. You know. Right. right. And uh, and I I feel like that is a strength. It, yeah. It's absolutely. A I was going to say that that if there's a differentiation between us and other places, not that there's no other places like that or right. do th- that. I don't know. I don't know of any. Th- I don't but know that there it's are. More, that, I would say it's more rare. Yes. To, to, to and happen. you have to have a right combination of yeah. personalities yeah. Yeah. because you just can't do that. Again, this yeah. is another one of those things I look at and I go, okay. God clearly is doing something. Right. He brought the three of us together. This w- works. Yeah. It's like really, yeah, right. <laughs> but it does. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> and then just the the some of the the amazing miraculous things that yeah. have happened. I mean, we're sitting in a building right now yeah. where, w- like, the details of which we can't even fully <laughs> yeah. tell you yet. Yeah. But how God has just miraculously aligned things. For the the not only the merger of mm-hmm. the two church bodies to come together, but the the, the financial support and the mm-hmm. like the the denominational mm-hmm. uh, collective working yeah. together. Yeah. I mean, all of this stuff happening, yeah. pretty oh, it's, off the charts. It's clearly God. Yes. So I definitely see us. One of the big differences how we operate as a leadership. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. That that is definitely something that we don't really codify anywhere. Like, yeah, you know, as a differentiating factor, right, right, right. right. Um, and we're not looking. I think that's the other problem that you can get into is this this competitive nature of the other churches, the community. I think I've I have really appreciated. I don't know if the pastors in power ever watch these, but like I have a good relationship with some of the other pastors in power, right? And to see their non competitiveness and their right. support. And like that, that means that means a lot. Yeah. And it, to me, it helps when you look at the the whole picture of even Powell, the amount of right. people in Powell, and you're you're fighting over a couple hundred people. Like right, right, right. that would be ridiculous. It's yeah. it's absurd. Yeah. Um, yeah. If every person in Powell decided to come to church on a Sunday, there's not enough seats. That's absolutely in true. all the churches. Yes. Right. So and that's just Powell. Yeah. Right. And then you throw <laughs> right. Delaware in. Yeah. So right. You're in Delaware. Then you throw throwing. in Columbus, and yes. it just gets crazy. Yeah. yeah. There there is so much opportunity out there. There are so many people who need Jesus, and 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 I think that's the the other piece of this. We're very intent on uh, helping people understand what this is all about. I mean, all the churches that are Christian churches that are Bible-based, as we've said, would believe this thing. But I think there, this bias for action for us is something about we're turning this foundation of faith, this understanding that we have a risen king. We have uh, yeah. our, our Savior came to earth a fully God, fully man, right. uh, died for our sins, rose again. This yep. is a very key, yeah, important big, factor. Yeah, big element. <laughs> and and we're, we're, we're celebrating that. Yeah, you know, in a couple it, weeks. Yep. It, we celebrate it every Sunday, but we're celebrating yeah. it uh, in a special way yeah. in, in a few weeks. But I think when, when I say that we celebrate it every Sunday, the, the way that we celebrate it is we want people to understand that that is significant. And if that is true, yeah, it your, motivates, your life yeah, should that, look that completely different. That motivates us yeah. then if you believe to that, something else. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm inspired. Let's go. Let's go do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Now here's another here's an important part though. When we say that, I don't I don't I don't want to say this like some sort of preacher guy doing the church thing. Like you know, Jesus is real and this is really right, happening. Right, right. If it makes you feel any better. I could never envision you as a preacher guy. <laughs> right, well, that's good. I know you you know you're ordained, you're a minister, all that. But <laughs> preacher guy, just eh, yeah, 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 not me. <laughs> but here here's what I want to say. I, I also feel is kind of a significant thing, maybe a difference about us, is that we want people to be authentically who they are and in that it doesn't that's not an expectation of if you enter into this full-on engagement of what of who jesus is and what he's done for you that it doesn't mean that you are 
somehow, you know, leaving your job. Like we're in a wealthy right, right, community right. here, right? There's yeah. a lot of people, you know, CEOs of companies and vice yeah, yeah. presidents and all right. this kind. Of, it's like uh, you don't go and give up all those things. That's right. not the giving up. You take those things and you use them for yeah. the glory of God. Well, exactly. Yeah, and, well, you you give them to God. Like, God, how do I use this position that you've put me in? Right. Yeah. And so, again, I feel like this is a reflection of us. Even if you're a cynical jerk like myself, <laughs> <laughs> entering in, taking a step forward is really what it's all about. So yeah. when, you, when you allow uh, the, the, the impact of this this story where right. you allow the story to impact your life right it means taking those steps forward and it doesn't look the same for everybody right. well no. and that goes to our to our vision statement of helping people embrace their identity in christ mm-hmm. that's yeah. kind of the second tier of this we want to make a difference but some yeah. of some of that starts with you as an individual right. embracing who you are in christ uh, not you know de- being defined by your job or not being defined by how much money mm-hmm. you make or the lack of right. money that you take in and truly understanding you know, we, we say you matter. Uh, we use that phrase a lot, yeah. you matter. And it's because of what we see in Scripture and how, how Jesus talks to the people around him and the way that he utilizes the people. You know, the disciples weren't perfect. <laughs> like some of the no. most influential people in Scripture had major, major character flaws. Right. Um, and and moral did. failings. Yeah. <laughs> I think all of them did at so, right, some level, yeah. Uh, so I think it's, it's very vital for everybody to understand that that doesn't necessarily define you. You are defined by what what Jesus did for you. That's right. Yeah. So, yes, that's and very important. Because of that, it should impact everything you do. Yes, right. and that's our like beginning stance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when someone comes here, they're yeah. going to hear Jesus died, Jesus rose again, and because that's true, He now thinks of you in a very way. He loves you enough to die for you and to do all this. Right. And therefore, that should change the way that you even perceive the world around you. Right. It should change everything about right. you. Yeah, there's a there's a song we used to sing, it's called Everything is Different. And it was just mm. it was highlighting that. It's like because of all of these things we see in scripture, everything is different. Yes. Everything we talked about, you know, the kingdom of God being upside down. You know, it's right. just mm-hmm. totally different from the things that we and if you know, and, and this may sound too abstract, or maybe it sounds like mm. cuckoo sauce to you. If you struggle <laughs> with like some of the intellectual uh, like being able to process this stuff mm-hmm. intellectually, reach out to us. Talk well, yeah. to us about it because that that is something like myself. I I like to delve into. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, w- w- some of our phraseology and some of the ways that we present this stuff, it can be a little hard for yeah. people to grasp, right? Yeah. And so, what does it mean that because mm-hmm. of this, something has changed, and right. that right. Jesus did something, and why did he have to do something, mm-hmm. and what what is this it all begs about? Begs a lot of questions. Yes. Right. And we're right. not afraid of them. Yeah. Right. We may not have all the answers exactly right in line right this minute. Right. Yeah. But we're not afraid of diving into those questions. Right. And yeah. we're, yes, and we're, uh, we encourage a thoughtful approach yeah. to it. Yeah. You know? Well, I think this is just touching, this is just beginning to touch on who we are mm-hmm. at Press Church. We are uh, actually working on a thing called Press Next. It's going to be something we're going to be you know, putting out here soon for everybody to learn more about us and our culture and our values and why we do what we do and how yeah. we do what we do. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> someone's calling in. They have That's, questions yeah. here. It's a question. Uh, question. <laughs> so be, on the, lookout. be, no, be no. on the lookout for that. We are uh, definitely wanting to find ways that we can pull and help you come along. Yeah. Uh, to be a part of, of yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. By the way, just a little plug for Sunday. Make sure you come on Sunday. We are we are in a series called Make a Difference. Yes. Uh, and so this whole series is talking about how we as the church are making a difference in yes. tangible ways that we make a difference. Yes, so, mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, with that, I do think we need to, to dive into the fun part of of today. Uh, Not that that was – I actually really enjoyed that conversation. By fun, you're being – I'm being facetious, very right? facetious right now. <laughs> uh, so last week we had the – Hungarian, Hungarian yellow pepper, yes, which I ended up missing out on the seeds or something because it wasn't spicy for me. But I don't think I'm going to get away from the pain this week because we have for us some habaneros. Yes. Uh, these are roughly a hundred to three hundred thousand uh, on the uh, yeah the hundred thousand three hundred Scoville units, which is about. 100 times hotter than what the other one was supposed to be, I think. At least. I'm ready to burn my face off. This is going to be brutal. I'm going to clear my sinuses um, today. No, so not a bad, we, see, there's some side effects. So we've got some, 
you've got tissues. We did read some facts about you know uh, capsaicin, and it's it's actually has uh, there's some, some positive, positive. Yeah, there's some positive benefits. Yeah, yeah. There's some health benefits in, in eating. I don't know if we're gonna feel those today, but um, we're gonna feel <laughs> something. That's this, for sure. This is gonna be brutal. So, are we ready to do this? I'm not gonna take this whole thing at once. I'm taking it all, baby. I feel like I just had. And I, I, I'll, I might be crying, and there might be stuff coming <laughs> out my nose. End up with the hiccups again. I yeah, probably. That. But uh, I feel like I'm just. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a bite of the main yeah. thing and just go for it. Are, are we ready? I'm not ready, but uh, I'll never be ready. Oh, this is gonna be so okay. brutal. Three, two, one. Okay, it's hot from the beginning. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> it actually, I still have some seeds in my keys. And it has a good, it has a good <clears throat> pepper flavor. I got the hiccups back again, though. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yep. The hiccups are the worst part. Ooh. Wow. Why do we do this? Woo. Uh, I feel like I'm breathing fire. <laughs> Whoa. My, my ears are tingling. <laughs> <clears throat> the eyes are watering. Can we take something to drink yet? I got the hiccups. <laughs> I still got seeds coming. <clears throat> what was the Going point around of this? my mouth? <laughs> that is hot. You. Jason, you got a lot of pepper left there. Oh man! Uh, Can yeah, we take a right. sip? I'm going. I'm going. Mm. Oh dear lord! <laughs> that was up. That was definitely up from last week. Oh man! Wow! I feel like I need to move. Mm. Oh, that's painful. Oh. Wow. Do you have questions for us, Jason? That's going to hurt later. No. Oh. You no. haven't even oh. eaten with the tip of it, Jason. Oh. Oh. I ate enough. Mm. Oh, that's oh. so bad. Oh. Whew. Okay, we probably better end it. Yeah. Oh. Do your th- do if your you want to see us in pain more, then you got to either bring us something to eat or... It could be gross too. Oh man. Oh, maybe we need to do some more gross stuff. I don't know. Whew. <laughs> That's hot. All right, you got to That was this no out. joke. I'm like tearing up. Well, I literally can't think right now. Oh. <laughs> My lips hurt. Can I have a tissue? Oh, it's right here. All right. Well, See you there you week. go. We're in pain. Hopefully you enjoyed that. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Our pain is all for you. <laughs> This is what press is all about. Pain. See ya. Oh. Wow.